Hello everybody and welcome to day 331 of Reese's Stories. And today I'm going to be reading you the story of Heidi, retold by Susanna Davidson, based on a story by Joanna Spirey and illustrated by Alan Marks. The wind whistled and sang, it blew in great gusts at Heidi and her aunt as they battled their way up the mountain. Up and up they went to a world above the clouds. At last they came to a small hut perched on t- the top of the mountain. A fierce old man opened the door. Meet your granddaughter, said Heidi's aunt. I've brought her to live with you, but I don't want her. I've looked after Heidi since her parents died. Now it's your turn, her aunt declared. And with that, she ran back down the mountain. Well, you'd better come in, said Grandfather gruffly. You'll have to find your own place to sleep, though. What's up the ladder? asked Heidi. Grandfather didn't reply. Heidi climbed into a hayloft. There she made a sweet-smelling bed of hay. The next morning, Heidi woke to the sound of bells. Sunlight poured in through the window. She ran outside onto the dewy, wet grass where a boy was whistling. This is Peter the goat boy, said Grandfather. Do you want to come up the mountain with me, Peter asked. I'm taking the goats to find fresh grass. Heidi went out with Peter and the goats every day. In the evenings, Grandfather fed her creamy goat's milk, crusty bread and melted cheese. Scrumptiously dumptious. Read me a story, pleaded Heidi. So every night, Grandfather read her a story by the fire. Heidi had never been happier until one morning her aunt came back. I have found a job for Heidi, she announced. I'm taking her to town. Poor Grandfather cried, Heidi! He'll be all alone. He likes it that way, said her aunt. He doesn't, though, Heidi. One day I'll come back to him. Heidi's aunt took her to a grand house. Once there, she had to look after a sick little girl called Clara. I'm so weak, I can hardly walk, said Clara. You'd soon get well in the mountains, Heidi Heidi replied. The town was full of jostling people. Stale smells filled the streets. Heidi longed for her hayloft, for the jingling bells of the goats, for stories by the fire. At night, Heidi sleepwalked. She sleepwalked. She wandered the house in her white nightgown. That girl needs to go home, Clara's father decided. A week later, Grandfather saw a strange procession procession, come, procession coming up the mountain. Heidi, you've come back to me. Clara wanted to come to her. Heidi explained. Can she stay until she's well again? Of course, said Grandfather. We'll help her get better. Clara drank fresh goat's milk every morning and sat outside in the sunshine. And every day she walked a little more. I can't believe it, said Clara's father when he came for her. Is this really my daughter? How can I ever thank you? Clara walking. There's Clara walking. When Clara and her father had gone, Heidi and Grandfather went outside to watch the sunset. You're home now, said Grandfather. I'll never let you go again. The end. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story called The Story of Heidi. So enjoy the rest of your week. And enjoy your weekend since it's nearly the weekend. Since it's going to be Thursday tomorrow. And yes, so I 
actually don't need anybody to record my story with me anymore. I just record it myself. But when there's a long story my mom records with me, but I'm able to record short stories by myself. So enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And I guess I will see you all tomorrow for day 332 of Reese's Stories. So bye, everybody. Good luck. Stay safe and stay home.